So I, I probably sound a bit of an idiot here, but for as long as I can remember, I've always wanted to go to Liverpool. It's one of those, I've lived abroad, I've travelled extensively, but never actually got around to going to Liverpool. And uh, every year, my husband and I will try and go away for a few days away from, from the kids. And every year I'd say to him, let's go to Liverpool this year. And because he travels a lot in Liverpool and went there with work, we ended up going to lovely other cities around the world, but not Liverpool. And I think it was 2016, I finally said, right, I'm going to Liverpool. You know, if you want to come, tag along, but I'm going to Liverpool. And I've always had a sense that Liverpool, I mean, everybody says what an incredible city it is. I'm, I'm, I've read lots of historical books about Liverpool. I love the Beatles, I love the music scene. Uh, I know quite a lot about its his, the history of the city. Um, and our first night in Liverpool, my husband said to me, you know, you haven't spoken for hours. What's, I thought you wanted to come here. And I genuinely was just overwhelmed by the city, by the architecture, um, the, you know, the riverfront, the Mersey, uh, the contrast between the, you know, the, the new architecture, the old architecture, the art scene, the music scene. So for me, to do the Liverpool Art Book is an, an incredible privilege. And I think it shows in the pages of the Liverpool Art Book how much I love the city and how much the artists whose work is in the book love the city. And even from the celebrity endorsements we had for the back, you know, so many people who, I think if you're from Liverpool, you're very proud to live from Liverpool. And I really understand that. I really get why people are proud of that city. And I think that the Liverpool book shows the city in a really fun and quirky way, which to me is what Liverpool is. It's an incredible city. And I hope that shows.